the subject of faith cannot be overemphasized. We will keep talking about it because without faith, we can't do much. We can't do much. You must believe and trust that God will do something and help you. In your name, you are the king yes. of glory. From everlasting to everlasting, you remain the same. The same yesterday, today, and forever. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. You reign forever. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Oh Lord, we give you praise. What a mighty God you are. You reign forever. From everlasting to everlasting, you remain the same. What a mighty God. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. Oh, hallelujah. I want us to look at the word of God this morning in the book of Hebrews. Let's look at the book of Hebrews. Uh, we want to talk about faith a little bit because um, a lot of Christians are having uh, some challenges in this area and I want us to address it. So you get your Bible. Let's look at the word of God. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Yes, uh, the book of Hebrews. Let's look at um, chapter 11, verse number 1. You know, when you talk faith, then you talk Hebrews. All right, Hebrews chapter 11. Yeah, let's look at it. Hebrews chapter 11. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right. Now, faith in real terms has to do with your understanding of who God is and what the Word of God is to you. To exercise faith, you must believe that the word of God you read is spoken directly from God. If you have that understanding, then things will work for you. So you just have to believe that God can keep his word. If you know that God can keep his word, then nothing is going to stop you from believing what he has said. All right. Now, the emphasis is in uh, uh, verse number 6. But without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible. You know, I don't know why some people believe that they can get anything outside the Word of God. You can't get anything outside the Word of God if it has to be God, except it's something else. If it has to be God, then it must be according to the Word of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, without faith, you can not please God. Without faith, you can't receive from God. And in Hebrews chapter 11, all through, it was outlined. The people in the Bible who trusted God, who believed God, who walked with God, and got things from God. It's impossible to operate with God without faith. That's why one of the uh, followers of Jesus was nicknamed Doubting Thomas. Because he was not exercising faith at all. When they told him Jesus had arisen, he said, no way. He said, until he put his hand where they pierced him and put his hand on the holes in his hands where they nailed him, he said he won't believe. And eventually Jesus appeared to him and said, you now believe because you saw all, but more blessed are those who will not see but believe. And that is why you have to believe. Without faith, you cannot, you cannot please God. You have to put your faith to work. And faith has to do with confession also. The words of your mouth, the things you are saying. Are you regularly complaining, complaining of the things you are going through, the things that are not working, and all the negative things? When you keep confessing the negative, the negative, the negative, then how do you think God is going to answer you? 
you have to be on the positive side. All right? You have to be on the positive side. Because in so doing, God is going to attend to you. Because he is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Take for instance, you are praying for someone who is sick. And while the prayer is going on, the mind is set on the hospital still. And wishing that you finish the prayer quickly so she can go to the hospital or he can go to the hospital. Now, how is the faith going to work? When the prayer of healing is going on, you have to focus on that God who died for you on the cross. That God who is able to do all things. He shared his blood for the healing of the nation. He was nailed to the cross. He paid the price for your healing. And so you have to believe that he is able, abundantly able. Now, when you are being prayed for, but dwelling in the negative, how is the prayer going to work? The prayer cannot work. In the book of James, the Bible says, those that are unstable in their mind, they can't receive anything from the Lord. They should know that they can't receive anything from the Lord. So when you approach God for anything, go by faith. What is faith? Believing that the word of God is spoken directly from the mouth of the Almighty God. If you have such understanding, then a lot of things can happen to you quickly in the realm of the Spirit and you can receive faster from God. Because His word never changes. He never fails. He remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. All right. Now, that doesn't mean that we should not believe in medical science. Yeah, medical science is real. The doctors, the nurses, and all the medical people, they went to school, they were trained, and they are doing their jobs. But you know, the human knowledge is limited. It gets to a point where they can no longer help. And at that point, you know that God is able to do all things. He's able to do all things, abundantly able to do all things. All right. So how do you practice your faith? Because you need to practice your faith. For instance, when you are sick, you don't need to start complaining and confessing to everybody, look, I am sick. I think this sickness is going to kill me. This sickness is so terrible. I'm feeling so bad and weak and feeble. You don't confess that. Rather, you can say, I am strong. I think I need to see a doctor. I am strong. I think I need to see a doctor. That is positive words. All right. For instance, you are broke. You don't need to say, oh, I am broke, oh, I am broke, I am poor, things are bad, things are terrible. You don't need to use those negative words. You can say, oh, I am rich, really, really rich. I need some money. I am rich. You see, by saying I am rich, you are programmed in the positive side, even though there is no dime in your pocket. But you said, I am rich. Now, that word, I am rich, is going to push you on the positive side and is going to make more light to come into your spirit in hope. And as you do that, you are progressing in the right direction and miracles can happen to you faster. All right. So let me pray with you. And I want you to repeat these few words after me. Say, oh God, my father, help my faith. Yes, the disciples following Jesus at that time, they, 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 they prayed like that too. Say, oh Lord, help our faith, help our faith. And Jesus said, even if it's as small as a mustard seed, it will do wonders. So say, oh God, help my faith. Oh God, help my faith. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, help my faith. Oh, God, help my faith. Oh, God, help my faith. I don't want to operate in unbelief. I don't want to operate in unbelief. Help my faith, oh, God. Help my faith, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, help 
these your children that are listening to this word oh god i pray that you will help their faith touch them in a special way 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 oh god that everyone that is occupied by the spirit of unbelief destroy that spirit of unbelief destroy that spirit of unbelief in the name of jesus destroy that spirit of unbelief in the mighty name of jesus destroy that spirit of unbelief in the mighty name of jesus oh god i give you praise hallelujah in jesus name oh glory be to god glory be to god honor to your name thank you lord jesus hallelujah thank you lord jesus hallelujah